Uh, when I won an Emmy, I got an Emmy for reporting in Dallas, and I was up against some seasoned journalists that I never thought I was going to win, so I didn't even go. And then they called me, they're like, you won. And I slept with that Emmy for like three days as director of events at the White House because um, I was so honored to, to be a part of an administration that I believed in and doing what I did every day. But it wasn't until, you know, my parents and my sister who had come to D.C. so often, I could have them at a state dinner and fill seats. And I had them volunteering at the White House and, and a part of it and sharing that relationship with the Clintons with them. That made it my proudest moment because my parents and my sister were a part of it. Probably graduating from medical school. It's one of those things that you dream of as you're growing up and you're, you hope it happens. You're not really sure if it's going to happen. You definitely go through steps along the process. You're like, oh, I'm going to drop out at this point. But yeah, definitely my proudest moment for me and my family, for sure. I would say probably graduating from law school and being sworn into the bar. That was individual success at its best. I'd say intelligence. I'd have to go with intelligence. I think if you're smart, you can be funny. If you're smart, you can be observant. You can be caring. So I think it covers all the other ones that are important. Trustworthiness, honesty, integrity. I mean, those are all kind of the same thing. Somebody who's just really um, good with themselves and at peace with themselves. I like a guy that doesn't always have to stick to plan or stick to schedule. It's great to have things planned out like about like what you might want to do like on a date, but it's nice that if you're having fun doing something, why just all of a sudden cut the moment and try to recreate it in another atmosphere? It doesn't always work. So I like somebody that can go with the flow without being nervous or uptight. Someone that can make me laugh, for sure, and I really like that dip in a man's pelvic bone. It is so hot. If I see that and it's dipping like it needs to dip, that's good for me. <laughs> I was a really you know, good cheerleader in high school. I was captain of the cheerleading squad in high school. So I could you know, do backflips and you know, climb up on pyramids and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really do that as much anymore, but I can still do it, I think. I was I was like kind of a wallflower. I had my friends. I didn't, you know, I wasn't the center of attention. I don't know. I was a fly on the wall. I was always at the place to be, but I was never like the center of attention. Well, I was pretty much the same person, but played softball. So I was a little different than what I am now. Now I'm on the sidelines cheering before I was out on the court playing. And um, so I'm a jock turned cheerleader. I was a nerd. I'm not going to lie. I took chemistry and physics, and I loved calculus. and. I was a big nerd. I mean, I did a lot of sports. I was a very sporty nerd, but I was still a big nerd. Not a lot of people know that I paint a lot, so I guess I, I do that. Um, I just paint like acrylic on canvas, and I started doing it just to kind of like try something new and like explore a different avenue, and I always wanted to like paint and see what I could come up with. And some of them are really good, and some of them are like, ugh, what is that? One weird random talent, I can do voices. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I work a lot with the kids, and I can do this little voice. Hello, my name is Bobby. I could be a little boy. Um, little kids love it to talk to me hours and hours a day. My, I, I think I'm competitive to a point where if you give me a challenge, I'm really good at it. Like, say, whirly ball. You know, you get in the bumper car and you shoot the, the ball in the basket. I'm really good at sports that aren't really sports. <laughs> Um, I think that I might be like just a really talented recreational athlete. Doing uh, creative and bizarre dances. <laughs> I make up um, like strange dance maneuvers that impress friends, close friends only. I have the biggest crush on Peter Pan. I don't know why. I loved Peter Pan. I wanted to be Tinkerbell so bad. Um, I just thought he was cool. He could fly, and all the kids followed him, and he could beat the crocodile and all the pirates. Yeah, I'm not really your normal Superman kind of. It's definitely Wonder Woman. I loved like watching her as a kid, and just 
you know, being, a, you know, because usually, you know, during that time when it was Wonder Woman, it's always like the guys that were always had the superpowers. So it was just very inspiring to see a woman that actually could save the world. Batman, for sure, uh, because he's just, I don't know, I love how he kind of has two identities. There's like Bruce Wayne, and then there's like this, you know, indestructible, like, superhuman and it's just incredible like all of his gadgets and everything he has like brute strength and intelligence and I think it's totally sexy and <clears throat> it's Tigress from Thundercats oh is, I'm serious she is bad ass is that okay she's bad ass uh, she she she's you know she just looks great in her outfit and she takes she takes care of her man but she what he doesn't know is that she can really take him down but she, keeps, she makes him think that he's got it under control. And uh, she was just so jazzy, you know, and she had this long, kind of like lioness-esque hair. She was great, Tigress.